I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I know. I always have to tell Betty where the camera is. Well, sometimes it's up above. Sometimes. Sometimes I find her looking like this, and you look a little crazy. But <laughs> I always cut it out. I will never let the Dodson look bad on camera. Oh, just once. <laughs> just when you're picking your nose. Yeah. Or farting. <laughs> 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 so you always get a question, the same question a lot on the site. And I thought maybe you could break it down. What is the question? How do I know it's an orgasm that will describe something? Is this an orgasm? What is an orgasm like? They're, they're, they I know, feel pleasure waves, but no orgasm. They're not sure what, what finish is. As an artist, I will tell you, there's never a finish. Especially if you're a woman, <laughs> right? <laughs> Whatever it is you're doing, it goes on and on and on and on. There's no end uh, ending. So, like, there's never an ending to a painting. There's never an ending to parenting. No. There's never an ending to sex and orgasm. So mm -hmm. all I can say is as long as it feels good, enjoy it and keep manifesting pleasure. As long as it's pleasurable. Why stop? Why stop? Now, you get tired or you get an appointment or, you know, I mean, be reasonable. But it's not about the end ending. Well, you made a, a really good point because we always talk about the topic before we sit down. You said, you know, don't worry about the orgasm. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy mm -hmm. the pleasure. If it feels good, keep doing it. And if you think you've had an orgasm, just keep doing it. You can have more. Pleasure is endless. Endless. And I think sometimes we get bogged down with the concept of an orgasm that it's going to be like fireworks or crossing a bridge and it's well, going to be this big deal yeah. and blah, blah, blah. But let go of expectations. The trouble is, is that poets and, and writers and, and, and Hollywood, Hollywood <laughs> they make a, such a big to-do with orgasm mm -hmm. and they overact. They ah! exaggerate it. So just like they do in porn because then the men feel more important if you're screaming. Uh, and going crazy, they think it's their effect of, on you. I mean, it's such a silly thing. And there's no like tried and true regular orgasm routine. There's always, whenever we're in the circle, it's like sometimes I'll have a big orgasm at the beginning of erotic recess, and I'm like, whoa, that came out of nowhere. It just like sneaks in. You're like, whoa, and it's the most profound. And then you know, sometimes I have a couple small ones. I'm like, yeah, that's good. I'll keep going, I guess. And then I'll stop and get a little snack. I come back and I like keep on going and all of a sudden you Va -va -boom. hit boom. <laughs> yeah. And you, you're not thinking dirty thoughts like at that. Sometimes it can sneak up. Have you ever had that where you weren't feeling exceptionally sexual? <laughs> you're surprised by the power of your orgasm because it was so unexpected. Yes. And that happened yeah. in the yeah. last erotic recess. Yeah. You came your face off out of nowhere. And we were all kind of just stunned. <laughs> kind of totally unexpected. So it's just, the whole idea is when you're masturbating, it's just do it as long as, as it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of your schedule. Uh, I've been known to miss a flight. <laughs> well, you said your last self-sexual session, which was a self-love session. <gasps> just last week. I'm, what am I, 90? 89. You're going to be 89 in August. I'm going to be 89, which is mean I'm one year away from 90. Oh, the big 90. The big 90. And I, I'm supposed to be old and, I don't know, dilapidated or something. I've never felt stronger and more powerful and physical. I don't go out as much and I don't. It's Tell true. them about the orgasm that you oh, have. Oh, the orgasm, yes. <laughs> Let's get back to the good stuff. <laughs> and I don't let it forget all that. Yes, it was huge. It was. It was partially unexpected, but, and of course I kept, was going for it, and I had a hot fantasy, oh, a really dirty fantasy, which always helps. And all of a sudden, this wave comes over me, and I'm howling like a banshee, and I'm thinking, wow, Dodson, you're really making- You still a, got it! <laughs> you're making a lot of noise here, you know, like, was it really that, it was really that good. And I think, well, I can do this to the end. I think I'm going to go out on an orgasm like that. The old ticker will go, and I'll go. And you were talking about how afterwards you had so much energy, at, you know, to, to attack life and to move forward. And I think we discount the value of pleasure 
I think I got up and cleaned the house. <laughs> definitely, definitely went in the kitchen and washed all the dishes. Definitely you have energy. You have energy. It generates energy because you feel so alive. I mean, I'm it's gonna, the creative force that keeps you going. I, I'm going really to does. Do, I'll be able to do this at the, until the very end. I'd like to go out on a big orchid. I have a feeling that's going to be how it's going to happen. I'm going to come in and find you with your Hitachi. <laughs> and like rigor mortis hand, and it's still going. <laughs> it's been going for a day or so. <laughs> and you reach over and take the vibrators out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Put, yeah, pull down your eyelids. <laughs> Give you one last kiss. And say, Dodson, was it everything you thought it would be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better. I have, it, I have my death image, my passing, my whatever you want to call it, dying. I have it all flat planned. The ETs are going to come through that big window in my back, back bedroom, and the, the, the flying saucer will be hovering there. And there are going to be three of them. There are going to be three grays. And they're a little smaller than I am, and I'm pretty small. Oh, oh, I didn't know. I thought they'd be kind of long and tall. No, 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 no. Those are, the, those aren't the good ones. So they're very sweet, and <coughs> they all look alike. And they escort me, and we go through the window again and get on the saucer. And it's what they all say inside the saucer. It's huge. It's like. Grand Central Station. I mean, it's because it, you can see the out, outer limits. But then inside, it's monstrous and it's beautiful. So they, they're going to give me a, a, a trip around the universe and I get to go visit the... Sprinkling orgasms and pleasure. Well, they know all about that. <laughs> of they course know, they do. They know all about Pleasure that. is enlightenment. Don't think for a second that's not true. So anytime it happens, I'm ready to go. I feel very satisfied with my life. And I know that you will carry this on. She is fabulous. I heard her talking to Lori this, this morning. They were planning things and what they're going to do and how much, you know, how much work we're going to do to put in this and that. And I sit back and I go, uh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> thank I you, got goddess of sexual <laughs> love and abundance. And pleasure. And pleasure. And pleasure. We are pushing pleasure. And it is the healing. It is the healing for the culture because we're all so angry. We're all so frustrated. We're all so warlike. We want to shoot a gun. Shoot your dicks, you guys. I mean, what? Come on. Listen to women. Let women guide you because we know more, much more than you do. Actually, you should just shut up altogether. <laughs> <laughs> and let us take over, okay? Because it's got to be pleasure-based. The culture that is pleasure-based is where we're heading. And that's it. It's the next phase. Okay, kids. <laughs>